What is up guys? Gabe Monroy with NerdTech. Happy Friday. I'm making a video on Synthflow AI and it's going to be a fun video displaying how I can use it as a missed callback feature for small businesses. Uh, I'm going to go into my Synthflow account here and we have an agent here called missed call AI callback. And this is actually a very simple prompt. I created this pretty quickly just to show what could be done. And basically the point of this is uh, I use this with Go High Level. And if you follow the Go High Level community, you know that one of the top features that people sell to small businesses is the missed call text back. Uh, what that means is, is if they miss a call, they uh, get a text that says, hey, sorry, we missed your call. And then they proceed to gather a little bit of information and a time to call back so that uh, the business owner can call them back. Now, that's all through text. Uh, my thinking was, why not do this with an AI call? Uh, it's a great way to use the tool. It doesn't matter if it's an AI or if people know that it's a computer. Uh, it's another way that we can show that we're doing a white glove service uh, courtesy call to our clients to make sure they get uh, top notch service and they know that they're heard and that we can schedule a call back quickly. So I think it's a beautiful way to use this tool. And uh, if I look in my configuration, uh, first of all, I'll show you that there is a new feature coming out with Synthflow called background noise. This is beta. Um, right now, it does cause a few glitches on the call. This is not live yet. This is in beta mode. So this is one of my beta agents. So if we hear a few glitches on the call, it could be from this. There's also some new features over here as well. So, uh, but I will let you hear that background noise. I think it sounds great for the most part and gives a little bit more realistic tone. So we'll see how that sounds. Uh, my greeting here just says, hi, this is Sammy from NerdTech. I noticed that we missed your call. I wanted to give you a quick call back as courtesy to schedule a time for one of our team members to get back with you ASAP. So it's going to be very simple. We're going to go into the prompt here and it's a, it's just a very simple prompt. This is all it is. And it's just going to gather some information so that our small business owner knows when to call them back. I'm going to go ahead and do a test call here and then I'll show you how this automation can be triggered in go high level. And I'll get this as close as possible to my speaker or to my mic so that uh, it will come through and you can hear it. Hey guys, I had to record this section real quick because it did not come through my mic uh, because of my noise canceling technology. So I turned that off. We're going to try it one more time to uh, do this call for you. Hello. Hi, this is Sammy from NerdTech. I noticed that we just missed your call. I wanted to give a quick call back as courtesy to schedule a time for one of our team members to get back with you ASAP. Yeah, thank you. No problem at all. Could I please get your full name so I can let them know who reached out? It's Gabe Monroy. Thanks, Gabe. Is this your cell phone number? I'd like to send you a text before we call back. Yes, this is my cell phone number. Awesome, Gabe. When would be a good time for our team to call you back? Any, Morning or afternoon? And do you have any time after three? Got it. Sounds like you mentioned something else there. I didn't quite catch that. Could no, you repeat it sorry, for me, I, I just interrupted you. Any time after three in the afternoon uh, would be great. Got it, Gabe. We'll call you any time after three in the afternoon. And just so we're ready to help, what would you like to just call back? Oh, I just wanted to know more about your guys' AI solutions uh, so I could automate some more things in my business. Sounds great. So you'd like to discuss our AI solutions for automating tasks in your business. Anything else we should know before the call? Nope, that's it. Perfect. Thanks for your time, Gabe. We'll call you after 3 in the afternoon to discuss your AI needs. Have a great day. Okay, thanks. You too. All right, there you go. Just a very simple uh, missed callback. And uh, I don't know if you'd be able to hear the background noise through my microphone. So hopefully that came through okay. But it is pretty good and it does make it sound more realistic. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump into my NerdTech account here and we're going to create a new workflow. I'm just going to show you exactly how I do this from scratch. It's, it's a real simple workflow automation. We're going to call this missed call AI call back and then the trigger is going to be 
Uh, let's see here. We're going to do down here. It should be customer replied, maybe. Reply channel, call, and then we're going to do and choose the phone number. And let's see here. Actually, actually, we're going to scrap this. We're going to do call status. This is the one we want. We're going to do call direction, incoming. And then we're going to do, you could choose the number if you only wanted it to be on a number. We're going to do status and no answer voicemail canceled or busy so everything but completed completed means the call was answered we're going to save that and then we're going to do make call this is the make call action from synthflow if you don't have this available uh, you can do a custom webhook to trigger this call as well so just to show you how to show, set this up i've shown it in other videos but i'll just show you real quick again here it's real simple uh, we go back here the if we go to deployment this is or er, actually we don't have to go to deployment they changed a few things here in the ui so the model id up here we need that model id we're going to go back and put that right here where it says model id and then we're going to map this phone number field to the contact phone field right there uh, actually contact you want to map it to the phone raw that's important, phone raw. Some people make that mistake. I almost did. Name, contact, full name. That doesn't really matter because we're not going to reference the name until they give it to us. And then the API key is the last thing that we need, which is right here next to the model ID number. Then we're going to put that API key in there like that. Save. Uh, you publish it and then save it. And then, uh, yeah, simple as that. We're going to make the call. And then what you would want to do in the post call outcome details, I show how to set up post outcome call uh, on, on another video, but you would set up a post outcome call. I'll show you what that looks like. It just means that when they answer the call and we get data from that call, so we could call them back and they may not answer. Uh, but if they do answer, we're going to collect the information. Um, it's going to trigger that they answered the call. We're going to find the contact, and then we're going to create a summary, a note, and then one more step I would do is do an internal notification. That looks like this, and we would do an email, and then I would do an email internal notification to the user or the business owner, so they would know that they got uh, the missed call text or the missed call AI callback got information and this will let them know immediately when to call back and what they were calling about. So um, yeah, that's very simply uh, how you can set this up. It's just a fun little way on how to use this tool. If you're already using it for incoming or outbound calls, why not create another agent and uh, find another way to you know, get value from something that you're already paying for. So absolutely love this feature. There's lots of other ways it can be used. If you need help with any of this stuff, go high level chat bots or the AI calling, feel free to reach out. Um, I always have a link to my website and you can book a call with us there. Uh, happy to help anytime. Have a great weekend, guys. Thanks.